Konnichiwa fellow sumo wrestling fans, welcome back. We're going to do another flip through of the September 1974 edition of Sumo World Magazine. Hey everybody, thanks again for tuning in. We're going to do another flip through of uh, the Sumo World Magazine. This one's pretty interesting. Uh, you can see here on the front, it's got uh, Yokozuna Kita no Umi uh, being newly promoted to Yokozuna. And at the time, he was the youngest ever uh, Rikishi to be, be promoted to Yokozuna, 21 years old at the time. So pretty cool to read about that. So let's go ahead and dive right in. See here on the left, uh, mail order service. You could order back issues. You could order some uh, books, Bansuke. You could rent some film. It's kind of cool. You'd rent it, watch it, and then you'd send it back. Um, here it talks about on the cover, newly promoted uh, Yokozuna Kitanoumi doing his uh, Dezuri at the uh, Meiji Shrine. Um, over here on the right, some editorial talks about the price increase of Sumo World Magazine. Uh, talks about a few other uh, items um, as well. Maybe uh, the Washington Boss Show talks a little bit about that. I think probably the most important article here in this issue is, is Kitanoumi being the youngest ever Yokozuna at the time. So pretty cool article, it talks about making his belt, going through his uh, Dohyo Iri, um, Kasugano was teaching him. So here it talks about Kitanomi and his, his, his long path to, uh, well not really long, but his path to being coming a Yokozuna when he, when he entered Sumo and um, some of the challenges that he, that he faced. Cool ad again, Tempura Inagiku there in the Honbashi. So a little, little ad there. Also uh, talks about the love of comic books and just kind of ending Kitanomi's uh, uh, path to uh, becoming Yokozuna. So I'll show up in the in the screen, but Kitanomi actually had his Deka or debut card in the 1973 Calbi set, so that's pretty cool. Um, forget what he was ranked at, but I'll show that on the screen. Uh, but but certainly a, a year or so before he became Yokozuna. So uh, yeah, if anybody's chasing his Deka. Uh, that uh, that that happened in the 1973 Calbi set. Now, I would argue that there's really four Dai Yokozuna or great Yokozuna of all time, uh, at least in the modern era. So the first one being uh, Futabayama in the 1930s and 1940s, Taiho in the 1960s and early 70s, Kita no Umi really in my mind Dai Yokozuna, 24 I think uh, Yusho in the 1970s and 1980s, uh, and then in my mind the the, the fourth Dai Yokozuna is is the recent retired Hakuho. Certainly some strong Yokozuna in between, but uh, in my mind, those are the four four strongest ever Yokozuna. Just the personality, what they went on uh, to um, to accomplish, really, in their career. Here's a cool little article. Um, Masuyama had a, had a new baby daughter, Eiko. And uh, Masuyama actually was a really uh, good singer. And I'll pause here and, and show you, or at least I'll let you listen to a couple couple seconds of, of him singing some traditional Japanese songs. Okay, here on the right, um, kind of overshadowed by Kitanoomi's rise to, uh, to Yokozuna, Kitano Fuji and Kotozakura, they both retired uh, right before uh, uh, Kitano Umi was was promoted to Yokozuna. In my mind, that was one of the main reasons why Kitano Umi was promoted. There was no strong Yokozuna at the time to really challenge Kitano Umi. But this talks about Kitano Fuji, Kotozakura, them both retiring and, and kind of uh, highlighting their careers as well. So you can see that here, their, their announcements of their retirement. Cool advertisements for Seiko and uh, Rolex. Uh, watches, um, Sarugatake, Oyakata dies of a heart attack at 52, just, man, just thinking, 52 years old, um, he was the, the, the former Koto Nishiki, so, um, talks a little bit about his death there, here's some cool action highlights from the Akibasho, uh, and again, remember, uh, you know, this was really the only way to get Japanese, uh, or sorry, English speaking um, information about sumo at the time in 1974. So this type of, these type of pictures were extremely important for, for the fans that were stationed outside of, um, or at least living outside of Japan. 
can see Takamiyama, here's down here, Kaiketsu, and Takanohana. Takanohana being super famous at the time, he he was the brother of Wakanohana uh, from the 1950s, uh, I think he's like 15, 20 years younger, but probably more more famously known is Takanohana was the father of Yokozuna's Wakanohana and Takanohana from the 90s, who really shot Sumo to, uh, to new popularity heights. Futabayama Story Part 3, and again, I apologize, I don't have Part 2 in here. Um, I just don't have that magazine, so if anybody has the July 1974 edition of Sumo World Magazine, I would love to, love to see it, at least some scans so we can look at the entire story. So Futabayama Story, Andy Adams does a review of the Nagoya Basho. Here talks uh, some stuff about uh, 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 Takamiyama. Here's his wife, Kazue, had a new son, Kunitaro. And so talking about that, um, some pictures there as well. Jesse also brought some some amateur Hawaiian sumo wrestlers over to Japan, competed against some other Japanese uh, amateur sumo wrestlers. So you can read about that here. I don't know if this happened, Washington Basho. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure that didn't happen, but we'll read in future editions if that ever happened. So here's a advertisement from Mitsukoshi department store. Mm, kind of cool. It's a continuation of the Nagoya Basho and then some of the editorial uh, information on on uh, this magazine. Here um, kind of predicts who's going to win the Akibasho. And then here's the, the Akibasho uh, Banzuke. Um, I can't remember when they switched, but there used to be an insert. The Banzuke was an insert in Sumo World Magazine, and then they actually made it a part of the magazine. But you can see here the top division wrestlers, Makuchi. Here's Wajima Kitanomi just being newly promoted. Takunohana, Takamiyama. Here's Masuyama we were talking about, um, him just having a daughter. Uh, let's see if I can recognize anybody else in here. Uh... I forget, uh, it was a Wakamitsugi, I can't remember. No, not, not Wakamitsugi. But uh, you can see that here, and then here's the Hoshi Torihyo. Here's the blank one that you would fill in. Uh, and then here's the uh, Nagoya one filled in completely. So you could uh, you could see uh, the uh, the top division wrestlers there and their, their, their results from the uh, Nagoya Basho, and then on the back here is the back cover, really advertising this martial arts international book. Then the Mr. and Mrs. Thomas and Devines looks like uh, maybe own this magazine, or at least their names at the top. So there you go. Everybody appreciate you all tuning in, and um, we'll uh, we'll continue doing the rest of the Futabayama story here in the next several weeks. So everybody have a great day, and sayonara.